Hello. Well, you've heard about cloud computing and one-to-one -one implementation at schools, but what concerns me the most about cloud storage, or interests me the most about cloud storage, is where are the student and teachers going to save their data so that it's accessible from any of their devices, desktop, laptops, tablets, iPads, smartphones, from anywhere or any location, that being home, school, Starbucks, McDonald's. So my white paper was about cloud storage and the four solutions that I researched were Google Drive, Microsoft SkyDrive, Apple iCloud and Dropbox. So I'm going to demonstrate Dropbox to you. The first thing you have to do would be to install Dropbox on your computer and on any of your de mobile devices that you would be using. For example, your iPad, your tablet or your smartphone. Part of this installation is to use an email login and password and this you would use to log in on Dropbox on all your devices. I'm going to click on my My Computer icon <coughs> and you will see a Dropbox folder. I'm going to double click the Dropbox folder. That Dropbox folder is created automatically with the installation on your computer. It is into this folder that you can drag documents that you would want to use at, at any mobile location or on any of your devices and as well as between your home and school office. As you can see here are my files that, and folders that I have in my Dropbox. I'm now going to open my the internet and show you when I'm logged in on the internet to my Dropbox location, I have the same setup. There's my camera uploads, my map files, my photos, my T. Thompson share. This is a folder that I have shared with other users and then some more files. You will notice that if I delete a file here, it'll be reflected in my online location. I'm going to right click. I'm going to delete. I'm going to say yes. And now we will see over here that my GenEd file disappeared. So this shows you how my files are synced from my computer and to the online Dropbox login. So now they are both reflect the same information. And should I now go to my mobile device, you will see the same reflected on my mobile device app. Now I'd like to demonstrate Dropbox on my iPad. I've already downloaded the app and here it is at the top left hand side of my iPad screen. I tapped on it and this displays my Dropbox on my iPad you will notice that the GenEd file is no longer in my list of files. That is because when I deleted it on my computer, it deleted it online. And as soon as I went into Dropbox on my iPad, it deleted it from my Dropbox on my iPad. Now, all three of these devices are synced. Now, if I had to go into Dropbox app on my smartphone, I would have the same situation. At each location, I log in with my email and password and it will sync all my files. That is demonstrating Dropbox across all your devices and how cloud storage works with mobile locations.